want all this fresh air. All this fresh air. Anyway, I will see you guys when I get to the airport. Finally made it through TSA and it is 11 o'clock on the dot. So I have about 50 minutes to drink. So I'm gonna try to get at least, let's say, two drinks in. <laughs> Enough to make me feel relaxed, okay? Because I know the second I get on that flight, I'm gonna be shaking in my sneakers. But, um, oh my gosh, I have to tell you guys, I have to tell you guys how God looked out and helped me to not miss this flight because I literally would have not made this flight if I was doing things the way that I wanted to do it. But I'm gonna get some drinks, and once I get to the bar, I'm gonna tell you guys what happened. But this is about to be the spot. I'm about to get my liquors in. Sit here. So my flight's supposed to leave at 12 and I told you earlier just how it is in New York with parking. So basically where I live at, the ultimate high parking rules are from 8.30 to 10 if you're on the side, you know, where the street cleaning is happening. So I was parked on the side where the street cleaning was happening, so I had to leave my car by 8.30 and then I could bring it back by 10, right? My flight boards at 11.50. I need to be at the airport inside, you know. Get my drinks in. Oh, Cheers. But yeah, um, I need to be at the airport on time. So anyway, I was like thinking it literally takes me like 18 minutes to get to the airport. So I was like, if I leave at 10, right, like I park my car, I'm gonna book an Uber, so you pick me up by 10, and then I can make it to the airport by like 10 20, 10 30, depending on traffic, right? Um so earlier today at 8 30 i didn't want to just sit in my car for an hour and a half so i went to this spot in the shell and have like a little bit so i went to go get myself a bagel and i got back like around 9 20 so i only had about 44 minutes that i needed to like sit in my car and wait and my uber was supposed to go between 10 10 and 10 20. so i literally get back there's a spot there i go into the spot and I'm just sitting there and then I look at the time and on the time that it says it's gonna to take to get from where I am to the airport it says an hour and I'm like I'm not gonna make it in a fucking hour like yeah I'm literally gonna miss my flight so I just had to like leave my car and just pray to God that my car doesn't get a ticket because you know like I parked too soon you're not supposed to stay to your car like leave your car during street cleaning even if the street cleaning happens and I was like, I'm not trying to miss my flight, right? So literally, um, I like just leave my car, I run upstairs, I cancel the Uber I booked, I book a new Uber, and I grab my bags and like run out the house. The Uber was literally there in a minute. So I get into the Uber, and you know how like on the Uber app, it tells you what time you're going to arrive to your destination. So it says 10.05. I look at the time, it's 9.46. I'm like, how is that possible? Like, it's actually going to take an hour to get to the airport, so how is it possible that I'm going to get there at 10.05? Like, that, that map is not map. And I'm like, did the time change and I missed it? So then I remembered that when I went to the bagel place, that I literally took off tolls. Because it's like a very small difference in time that it takes to get to the bagel place with them without tolls. And I don't want to pay I pay so many tolls every day to go to work. So I was like, I'm not paying that toll. So I took the tolls off. When you take the tolls off, it literally takes you from the Bronx into Manhattan back into Queens. You don't go over the White Stone Bridge, so it takes a lot longer. So that's pretty much what happened. So I'm going to go over and I'm just like laughing at myself because I ended up having to like rush out the house. I didn't really get to make sure I had everything, everything. But then when I get to the airport, literally the line for TSA was just so long. Like I was on the TSA line for so long. But it's just crazy how everything happens because literally had I not like gone to that big place, had I not like changed the time and done all that stuff, then I literally would have been leaving at, you know, 10, 10, 10, 20, 10, 30 and cutting it really close. I'd still be probably standing on the TSA line right now. Like I probably haven't even made my flight. I wouldn't have time to get my drink. I have to drink because I can't 
keep a lot, but I don't care. But it's just crazy, you know. I just say all this to say, like, you really just have to trust in, in, in God, in the universe, or whatever it is you believe in. Like, you really just have to trust that everything that happens is happening for the best reason, right? It's happening for a reason because everything just lines up perfectly. Um, yeah, you just have to trust. So you just have to trust. Even when little things happen, little mishaps happen. You know, like it's easy to get frustrated, and it's okay to be because we can win. But it's like you have to trust that in the end, of that happened for you. Anyway, I'm also finish my drink and order another drink and get another drink and then head to the airport. So I will probably see you guys again when I'm back to the all right, guys, so we got to hit up Sebo Express. I just had to ask where they sold the candy and gum at because I need some gum for the flight so my ears don't pop and so my breath don't stink. No. <laughs> All right, let's see how much this gum is here. The Mentos. Look at They have the Mighty Patches here. That's so helpful. And deodorant. Is that deodorant? No, for chafing, okay. This is six and change. I won't even buy it when it's four and change, but I'm gonna buy it today. What else do they have that's helpful and useful to my life today? Nothing. Oh, they have, they have my favorite chocolate. And I don't need chocolate, but this is so tempting. Do I treat myself or not? Nah? Alright, so we only took the gum and not the chocolate. Because how was the freaking chocolate? Two two pieces of chocolate. Two dos. The I don't know how to say any other language. Two pieces of chocolate, the same price as a whole pack of gum. It was like six dollars and change, so you know, executive decisions had to be made by the executive, and yeah, we just got gum. I was dumb too, but still, <laughs> I needed it. came no it doesn't matter it's not my information that's the hotel but i got a fashion over package i don't know if anything in here fits me literally literally yeah, I, need, I have a problem look at this, look at this. i don't remember what i got but i hope something fits me i got these sunglasses all right, guys, this is my look. I just changed. I actually just got these shorts from Fashion Nova. These are, ooh, I am literally just stuffed in here like a sausage, but it's okay. And I got this top from Fashion Nova as well, and the shades from Fashion Nova. So, yeah, I'm looking good. I'm so for excited. It's like 112 degrees outside, which is fucking crazy. But, yeah, this is, this is the vibes. These are the vibes today. I'm about to go eat some fufu, so I needed to get the strongest pair of pants that I could get to kind of, you know, keep me together. <laughs> yeah. This is what it is. I'm dressed. I'm about to go out to get some food. But my cheeks, my cheeks are all red. So I literally was like in the sun for 15 minutes or so. And my cheeks got red. So. I'm gonna wash my hands and apply some sunscreen. Yeah, my skin got really red, like my cheeks. I have rosacea, so I don't do well with the sun. And it's like a million degrees. <laughs> it's 112, that's freaking crazy. So I'm gonna put my Tula sunscreen on. Cause I didn't apply it before I left. I was gonna apply it, but I didn't and that was a mistake. So here we go. I don't really apply it to these areas here because I'm like having a breakout right now. 
but it's so hot I feel like I need to but as long as we get the cheeks and the nose that's what's important because that's the part that like gets red and is affected by the rosacea really it's like my cheeks and my nose so I'm gonna put a little bit on my chin I already put some on my chin and my neck can't abandon the neck you know because that's the first place where age is seen people forget to like moisturize and do the same skincare routine to the next so yes um put some down here just looking in the mirror it's kind of hard to like look on camera and make sure i got all the spots i need to get okay okay so yeah got the sunscreen on the only thing so i actually want to change my sunscreen um i use the tula and i've been using that but i want to get a mineral based sunscreen because i am allergic to oxybenzone but also just like the thing is, it gives a nice glow at first. Like my skin has a nice glow to it right now. But the second I start to get hot or it starts to get really hot and I start sweating, the glow becomes just like like greasy. So I wanna try a different sunscreen. But yeah, we are about to head out now to Dallas. I should have probably charged my phone this whole time. I should have been charging my phone. All right, so I am outside the hotel right now. Oh, my bag's all twisted up. I'm about to eat. I'm so hungry. It is so hot. Uh, did I, when did I eat? I think I had a bagel like early this morning. That was all I had and then I was drinking. So I definitely need some food and my boy Zay. So you're about to go, yeah, get some food. Oh my gosh, it's been too long. That's when we hit the spot, but I'm so disappointed in myself because usually I would eat two pounds a yam. I would finish all my egusi. I ate half my agusi and half my pounds of yam. I'm headed back to the hotel right now. That's the AC on because the restaurant that I was just in had absolutely no air. It was very hot. So I'm going back to the room because the pants that I put on, those cute white pants, oh my God, they are too tight. They are too, too, too tight. So I'm going back to change and then I'm gonna head back out. But yeah, I'm loving this top though. This top is so cute. Absolutely loving this top. I just don't know what I'm gonna put on because I didn't really bring much stuff. And all the clothes, no, like half the clothes I bought from Fashion Nova were too small. <laughs> like, what was I thinking? I don't know what. Girl, this little bit of weight and don't know how to act. But, um, yeah, so most of the stuff that I ordered is too small. So I'm going to figure out what I'm going to wear. But, um, yeah, it can't be these white shorts. I have to take these white shorts off now. All right, I changed my pants. I feel so much better. Her cheeks are a little flush, but I'm about to go have a couple drinks. Ocean. <laughs> that is so cool. It smells good. <laughs> it does. It smells smoky. <laughs> oh, either the rhubarb and raspberry spritz. If you trust me, I can make you something. It's not on the menu though. You should do it. Ooh, we trust you. I trust you. I trust you. And I love that you like just look so happy doing it. Like you truly enjoy it. Do you? Do you really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't want that to be like a. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just because you're asking, like yeah. <laughs> but no, you really do look like you truly like are passionate about it. I belong on this side of the bar. Yes, you do. Magic, magic, magic. Wait, what? Where did all these things come from? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
<laughs> be out all day tomorrow. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm not working, that's the truth. Yes, I can't sleep. This is my vacation, this is my holiday. My R&R. &R. Oh my gosh, I get roses. I get roses. We were just talking about roses. Ooh, thank you. Yes. Good drink. Not on the menu, okay? It is beautiful. <laughs> like me. Yeah, Cheers! Uh, ready? Bottoms up. Get my drink. It has roses and a giant lemon and pink and beautifulness. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? What's up? What's up? So I just got back from the bar. Um, in the hotel. I was so tired. I did not feel like going out anywhere. So I ended up, oh, this is a cute little hall. Look at this hall here. I love this hotel. Except for the pool. <laughs> I haven't been there yet, but I'm not feeling like the whole layout of the pool. But yeah, I'm just getting back from the bar. It was so nice. I met this lovely, lovely, lovely couple, like super lovely. And the bartender was absolutely amazing. Um, Kaylin is her name. So she said she'll be back at four tomorrow when the bar opens. So I'm definitely going to see her tomorrow. Look at the elevator about to close on me. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna go and see her tomorrow, like to get some drinks before anything. Like if I go out or if I stay in. But yeah, I had a really good night. Like I'm so excited to just get inside my room, take a shower, and just get in the bed. Like oh my god, and get some good rest and go to sleep. I've been up since 4 o'clock this morning, so I'm super tired, but I had some really, really good drinks. Kayla made me the bomb. You guys saw the drink, okay? Y'all saw that drink. She made me a, some special drink. I still don't even know what it is, and I didn't even ask. Well, I did ask, but she was like, it's the special drink. So I trusted my girl Kayla at the bar, but yeah, I'm just heading back to the room now. Heading back to the room. And I'm just gonna get some sleep and I'm gonna give you guys the room tour tomorrow. I have to actually fix the room because the room's a mess right now. I literally came in here and just threw stuff everywhere. Ooh, it's cold in here! It's so cold! Why is it? Why is it 73 degrees? Nah, I need to be a little warmer. But good night, guys! I will see you tomorrow! Good morning, guys. Good morning. <sighs> I am just kind of um, taking my hair out of my nighttime do so I can run downstairs and get some breakfast. They have free breakfast, so I need to eat something because my tummy, after drinking, whew, I literally just, I threw up, I threw up. Um, I had, like, I had not drank for, I didn't drink for two months. And yesterday was my first day back drinking and I had drinks in the morning before I took my flight. And then last night I had too many, too many, too many. And then I was mixing things too. So, and I typically, I never mix things. So I should have known better. But yeah, I literally just put on my airport outfit to go run downstairs and get some breakfast. So I woke up at like six, no, I woke up at five something. And I laid in bed and I was like, you know what? At like six o'clock, I'm gonna go downstairs and get breakfast. But I was just not feeling well. Like I just couldn't get myself to go get it. And I'm happy I did it because I ended up throwing up. So I actually want whatever I eat to kind of just sit in my stomach. So we're gonna go downstairs now and see what they have. If I remember correctly, last time I was here, um, I was staying with a friend and I went to go do the breakfast and I couldn't have anything but the bacon, which was actually really good. So if I can only eat bacon, that's okay. Like, and fruit, if they have some fruit, I'll do like bacon, fruit, and some something to drink. I definitely need to drink something because the only thing that I drank was alcohol and I need to buy some waters for my room because I'm no water in here that is not good drinking in the water so yeah we're just gonna go head downstairs right now <sighs> I'm definitely going upstairs going back to bed and you know what I need to call somebody to come to my room because last night I just wanted to like lay down and watch TV or have the TV watch me but my TV wasn't coming on I, didn't come on. I fell asleep immediately anyway but still I'm gonna have to talk to somebody about the TV because yeah, we can't have that. Scrambled eggs. 
turkey sausage. No. Bacon. That's sausage. Do they not have bacon? I don't think they have bacon. Ooh, they got sriracha. That's a hot commodity right now. fruit. And tea. Oh, they have a nice tea selection though. So many options. That's exciting. And then hot water. of the day I'm about to go get these dogs done like my feet are struggling but yes yeah, this, this is what I'm gonna be wearing today it's um I never got to do a haul for this actually so this is actually part of the Fashion Nova snatch collection and this is like one of their like little body suits and I got it in a medium and I just love the way it fits it's so cute I've been like wanting to wear it but just haven't found the right time so today's the day and I'm just super excited but I'm actually gonna pair it with a shawl because um, I don't have any white underwear and I'm on my you know cycle so this is a very brave move bold move for me to be wearing all white right now <laughs> my cycle is about to start and um, you can see like my panty line I don't know if you see in the back but you can see my panty line and yeah I don't like that so we're gonna put on this shawl right we're just gonna put this shawl on so I'm trying to see if I should like wait for my friends to come and get me to take me to go get my nails done or if I should just walk there so it's at the Galleria mall which is I think it's like a five to ten minute walk from the hotel but like I told you guys yesterday I have rosacea and the sun and heat trigger and make it worse. It's like one of my triggers that I've, you know, I've noticed it's one of my triggers. So like yesterday, my cheeks, you can't even really see it right now, but like my cheeks got really bad and down here, like where I get acne at, got really, really bad. So I don't know, I'm trying to debate if I'm gonna wait on my friends, cause I'm really hungry. I'm, I'm really hungry right now. So I actually wanna go, um, I wanna eat, I wanna eat. So I need to get my feet done. And then by the time my friend gets here, I can go eat. Like that was my frame of thinking. But then I'm like, my face is gonna be so flared up because I don't have a hat or anything to like shade my face from the sun. I need to buy an umbrella. So this is what it is today. This is the fit, the fit of the day. I'm feeling so cute. And it's like hot. I think it's 108 degrees right now. So this is like perfect and it's cool. So I think we'll just, let me see, do these shades? No. These shades cover my cheeks, but they don't cover down here. Uh, let me see how long it's gonna take me to get to the mall. I'm finally leaving my room. Like, I haven't left my room since breakfast this morning, so. We're on our way to get our nails done. Yay, finally. I'm gonna get a pedicure, because my toes look crazy. Like, the fact that I'm even wearing them out in public right now is wild. And I'm gonna do a acrylic manicure, which I haven't done one, oh my gosh. I haven't done one oh, in probably over 10 years, so I'm excited about that. Um, it's really hot. I was going to walk at first, but I ended up just ordering an Uber, so we're going to Uber it over there. Let's just wait outside. It's hot as hell, but we'll wait outside. Okay. Now I hope this Uber comes quickly, because like I can't be outside, but my toes like this for too long. 
to look crazy. It is so freaking hot. I should wait inside. Yeah, um, I'm excited. I'm gonna get some more food for today. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna eat all the food that I can eat while I'm here because once I go back to New York, like, that's it for the good food food. And then probably go out and get some drinks tonight. I might have to go hit up the bar though, like, I think my girl Kaylin, the bartender, said that she's gonna be back by four. So I'll probably have to hit her up before I go get food actually, because her drinks are just A1, like 10 out of 10. Just, oh my gosh. I want that sweet drink that I had though. I want that. Maybe I shouldn't start with that because then I probably won't feel well. Because it has both Prosecco and gin in it. It was so good. It was so good. And also, um, the Smokes Manhattan was delicious too. Um, is this my, I don't think I ordered a Tesla. Is it Tessie picking me up? No. <laughs> so go to my favorite place, Lola's, and see if my people are there. I haven't seen them in over a year, so I'm super excited to go there. I'm just going to foo foo myself out. And so let me see what kind of car is picking me up first. Literally having the best mani, well, I got acrylics, but having the best manicure and pedicure ever in life. Like, this is so needed. Now I'm having massage. I'm gonna go eat some fufu. Like, this is what life is about. Like, this is the life of enjoyment, of relaxation. This is the life I deserve. Okay. I feel like a new person. Oh, happy? my tongue is blue. You happy? <laughs> yes. As long as you happy for? I'm so happy. My nails look cute. Hey, I'm, I'm glad you. So, I'm going back to the same restaurant that I went to yesterday to get some fufu. And this time I'm getting FO reroll because you know, I just gotta eat up all the, the Nainja food that I can get while I'm out here. Um, I'm gonna try to record a little bit more though. Cause like literally yesterday I was so hungry, I was so excited. I went in and didn't get anything but like the food and the scraps that were left. So <laughs> I'm gonna try to get some footage, but I'm so excited and my nails look so good. Look at my nails. Look at my nails. Your girl got her nails done. Uh, your girl got her nails done. And my toes. I'm going to show you guys my toes. Hold on. Let me get this car. So, this thing, I need to cut this off. Like, I hate when these things just start popping out and showing. I hope you guys can even hear me. I feel like a loud fan next time. But I am currently waiting for my Calvin's and my Epoch Rebro. I've never had Epoch Rebro here. I've only had a so I'm hoping and praying that it's delicious. This food has been missed. I feel like, you know, the Nigerian within me has been just deteriorating without this food. It's been literally since, I think, November. Or this, no, October. October was the last time that I had it. So it's been too, too, too long. And I'm just impressed. Yeah, I'm sitting here now. Um, water. Over a year, um, and it's a Saturday night too, so I know 
the music is about to be lit. Like, it's about to be a good time. Have some drinks. Feeling good. I love this area. So many rock them diamonds on me dance. When you working hard and your money start to spend. I got model bitches wanna make me like some candy. And them drugs come in handy. Last night, savage bitch, but no, I'm not randy. Hit her with no condom, had to make her eat a plant. And I'm sipping on that cold. Heading back into the hotel. Tonight was a bust. It was a bust. None of the places I went to had good music playing, so I just was like, and I was tired, and I was so full, so I just wanted to come back to the hotel. So, I'm gonna go check out the bar. I might have a drink if I feel like it, and then just going upstairs and going to bed. So I'm tired. It has been a long, 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 long day. Like, literally. Let me see, is my girl at the bar? I think my girl's at the bar. See, let's dip a toe in the water and see what it's feeling like. Ooh, it feels nice. Needs to get in the pool tomorrow. So nice. Heading back to the room now. Tired. I'm so tired. Like, this trip was supposed to be about just rest and relaxation, some R&R, &R, and my body's telling me I need it because I cannot hang. It is, like, not even 11 o'clock, and I'm already heading back to the room. But it is what it is, you know. Um, I really yeah. did come to relax. But some oh, this lighting is literally everything. Wait, where? What? Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. Today is Sunday, August twentieth, and I am currently getting ready to go out to brunch. I have been so bad about filming this trip. Like, I was so excited to like do my first travel vlog in the proper format because when I was in London I was literally filming the wrong way the whole time so I was so excited to do this but then it's like I'm barely filming so um, I have today and tomorrow two more days left so I don't really have much planned for today besides going to brunch hopefully more will happen like more fun things and I can kind of take you guys with me I wish I had my car I'm not driving while I'm out here so like I'm either like you know getting a ride or ubering or lifting so yeah it's just been it's been different i'm just so used to having like my own ride when i'm in dallas um so yeah right now i'm just in the middle of doing my makeup um I'm actually meeting up with a friend at 11 30 and we're gonna go to get something to eat i'm so hungry i'm so hungry and i need to eat so desperately because um i was drinking yesterday night i didn't really have much to drink if i'm being honest but i don't know it's like these drinks have been hitting different I'm like, do I need to even drink ever again? Because I took a break from drinking and now it's like, I start back drinking again. And I'm so if I'm looking over here, it's just because the mirror's there. I'm not used to filming, doing my makeup on camera. So this is different for me. Um, so yeah, I'll periodically be looking over here so I can like see what I'm doing. But um, yeah, so I'm just like, do I even need to be drinking anymore? Because it's just been like, I don't know. It's been a weird experience, very different experience drinking. So I don't know where we're going for brunch. I just hope it's somewhere good. Like I just want some some potatoes. I want some like breakfast potatoes. Um, what is it? Some eggs. I want some sausage. I want some good bacon. The hotel that I'm staying at when I was here last, they had like really really good bacon. So I was looking forward to having it, but apparently they don't do bacon on the weekend, which like why they have like pork sausage and i don't like their sausage because i don't like the the texture of it i'm like a texture person i think i oh excuse me explained all that yesterday i don't remember but um how do people film like seriously how do people film and do their makeup i don't know 
like they're literally looking on cam okay hold on one second okay i don't understand how people are able to like sit in the camera look in the camera do their makeup have a conversation and film like i cannot and especially like if i'm doing my eye makeup like my brows and once i do my wing i have to have ultimate like silence and concentration i can have a hold a conversation i can't do anything but just focus on what i'm doing at hand um you see like that, like I'm literally just putting mascara on my bottom lashes. And I couldn't even talk the whole time I was doing that. But I'm excited. Um, this weather is not exciting though, it's so hot. Today I think it's the hottest day that it'll be while I'm out here. It's gonna be 109 degrees, but I know it's gonna feel like it's hotter because when I got here, I think it was 105 was the high, but it felt like it was 112. Like the car was reading like 112, I think at the highest, so. I'm sure it's probably gonna feel even hotter. I definitely am not trying to be outside in the sun like that, but I'm not trying to stay inside either, you know what I mean? I wanna go to the pool, but I'm not gonna go to the pool during the day. So if I go to the pool, it'll probably be during the nighttime, like once the sun sets. I have this liner that I got. It's a um, Stella, it's a Stella liner. It's like a double-sided liner. It has like this color, which I don't even know, it's weird. And then um, the black pen on this side. But I bought this MAC liner. Is this in here? Yeah. I got this one. Um, it's also like, it's called Dare Black. And it's a black MAC liner. And then on one side, you have like the little, you know, this type of um, liner for like your waterline. And then you have this one. I like this because it's very precise. So, like, to really get like the sharp edges. But. I don't know, it's not good at filling in, at least not for me. So I prefer the Stilla one because it's also a bit thicker to like fill in. So that's what I'm about to do, but it's not gonna be on camera because I can't do it on camera, guys. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready to go to brunch now. I got my whole, let me show you guys. I got my whole fit on. Decided to wear these shoes here. Oh, they're so cute. But yeah, this is this is the look for today. This is the outfit for today. It's gonna be. So I still don't know where I'm going. Um, I need to have them come service my room, and I need to get some toilet paper because I'm all out. So you have everything I need. Let me just make sure I have everything I need. Bring my charger. Always gotta bring my charger. My phone dies all the time. Like even if I'm not recording, it's just constantly dying. dress skirt why does it look so big I like this I don't want pull no trigger I just want me what's up in place I don't want no wahala no wahala no wahala no wahala just you know testing out couches <laughs> That's the sad part about traveling alone. You gotta try to take your own pictures. They didn't send me any utensils, and I specifically asked for utensils. I just ordered food from, um, it's called Luna Mediterranean Grill. I used to like really enjoy their food back when I was living out here. Let's see. Luckily, this room has a kitchenette, so there should be some utensils. Got fork. Oh, a fork. 
So this, oh my gosh. This is the bowl that I got. It's called the Santorini bowl. And it has shkug, some kale, couscous, hummus, olives, rice, and chicken. And why does my food feel cold? Huh? Yeah. It's literally 100 and something degrees outside and my food is cold. That's actually wild that my food is cold when it's like as hot as it is outside. So I'm super excited to eat this though. It's so good, so good. But I'm just, I'm literally just chilling in the hotel. I've been here for the last few hours. Oshake had a concert today in London or yesterday for them. And um, yeah, he sold out the Osu in London. And so they actually made the concert available for free on YouTube. So I was watching Ashake's concert. I was watching that and then I had a call, a call to Leeds. And yeah, and then I was just chilling. So I'm about to eat this and then go down to the pool for a bit. I'm just debating on whether or not I want to take my makeup off. Like, I'm just, I don't know, I'm too lazy to take my makeup off. And I'm not going to submerge myself in the pool because of my hair. So normally I would be in there swimming and stuff, but because of my hair, I'm not going to. So I'm like, maybe I'll just keep my makeup on. I don't know. Today is my last day, my last full day, my last night in Dallas. <laughs> I'm gonna miss it. I'm not even gonna lie, like, it just wasn't the same like it normally is. Um, I don't know if it was because I didn't have a car, so I was relying on, you know, like Uber, Lyft, or like, you know, other people to kind of drive me around. So that could be one thing. But also I just feel like even going out, like I went out last night to this place I used to go to all the time called Sidecar Social in Addison and every time I would go it was lit like that was my spot it was just always so much fun they have like a little basketball court like if you're from Dallas you know the Dallas area or if you visited the Dallas area you know you may be familiar with Sidecar Social but it's just dope it's like really a really dope place I went there yesterday on a Saturday night and it was so dry I mean the Cowboys were playing the Seahawks so I don't know if that has something to do with it but the music was not giving um, it was just, it was just not it for me. Like it was so boring. So I ended up just checking out Stir, which is like, they have a rooftop lounge over there. Even there, the music was dead. I didn't even know what was playing. There was something, excuse me, there was something playing, but I don't even know what it was. Cause it wasn't even like audible. And then I ended up just coming back to the hotel. Cause I was like, this is, this is not it. Like, I'm not going to be out just to be out. You know, like if I'm not having fun, I'm not staying out. So I really ended up coming back in, but it's just like, it's just crazy. It's just not the same. Like every time I would be in Dallas, I always had a good time. So I'm having a nice restful time though. I'm not gonna say I'm not having a good time. Like in terms of vibes and like going out and partying, no. But like in terms of relaxation and just getting away from the city, like literally just 10 out of 10, I needed this. It's been so relaxing. Like just laying in the bed doing absolutely nothing just being by myself getting time to just recharge and it's been really nice so um yeah i'm kind of sad i'm leaving but i just you know i'm excited to see what's next to come in my life so I've this is the bikini okay which is so sexy it's from matte collection I feel like I look like I'm going to bed. Like this looks like a robe and not a bikini cover. <laughs> All right, let's go. Baby, 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 baby,
So we're leaving guys, we're leaving the hotel now. Um, I asked for a late checkout because I had a very rough night last night to not sleep. Whew. So it's like 1.30 now. Um, I'm about to head to this place in South Lake called Duff's that I used to love, it's a wing place. So I'm about to go there and get some wings. And I might go to Zara because I have a return that I need to make. Um, and also I need to get a sweater for the plane because it was so cold on the way here so I know it's gonna be cold on the way back. And I need to get, um, hold on. Thank you. And I need to get um, like a big bag because I have quite a bit of stuff to carry, but like my bag is so small. So anyway, we're about to head to Duff's. See you guys when we get there. Hey right, guys, we're going to TJ Maxx right now so I can get, even though it's 110 degrees outside right now, or at least that's what it feels like. Like that's what it says, literally, that's literally what it says. It feels like 110 degrees. We're about to go to TJ Maxx because on the flight, it's negative 10 degrees. So I need a hoodie and I don't know, maybe leggings. And I definitely need a bag because I have a lot of things to carry on the flight with me, but I don't have like an appropriate size bag. So we're gonna stop in here right quick and get me a hoodie. I just need a hoodie. So I gotta stay focused. I need a hoodie. Um, and a bag. Let's see. Let me just get another book bag to carry. It's fifty dollars. Come on, start it. This one is cute, actually. I like both of them. And then, so I feel like this backpack's cute. I can fit everything in here. I can even put my whole purse in here. And then I just need to get a hoodie. Or should I get an all black backpack? These are cute. I don't know. These all black backpacks are actually kind of cute. So, I don't know if I should get the all black or if I should get the black and gray. <laughs> I don't even see sweaters. I forget where I'm at. <laughs> like, do they even have hoodies and dollars? Let's go to the women's section and see. I was in the men's section because I just wanted a nice big oversized hoodie, but I literally don't see anything warm in the men's section. This is cute. This is gonna be warm. This is cute. So it's not only... I don't see any hoodies. These bags, oh my God, this one is so cute. Look at this beige bag here. So now I don't know, should I get a book bag or should I get like a bag like this? Hold on, the jacket's in the way. This is actually cute. This is so cute, this little bag right here, this beige bag. So now I don't know what to get. If I should get the beige bag or the backpack. Beige bag or the backpack. Oh! All right, let's see if I can find a hoodie first. Oh, look, at there's like jackets here. But these don't look like warm. <sighs> yeah, these are actual jackets though. This is literally like the only thing I can find. It's mad big. I think it's like extra large amounts. But they don't have hoodies out here because it's not cold enough. Yeah, this is literally it. There's no like hoodies or whatever out here. There's just like that little half hoodie, but. I need something long because it's going to be like really cold. It was so cold on the way here. Um, so I guess it's a maybe. So, tell me why literally, I'm not even kidding. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sensors, eight sensors pieces just fell out of nine sensor pieces. Ten sensor pieces literally just fell out of this hoodie I'm trying on. Like this one hoodie 
I literally put it down and put it on and all these sensors fell out of it. That's crazy. Look at this. They have fall stuff. This smells like literally this smells like fall. It oh my gosh. I feel like it's fall now. This is amazing. With notes of orange, vanilla, and cinnamon. Will I use it? I don't know, but I'll probably use it for like hand soap. Disney. Oh, it is so sunny right now that I literally missed my flight. <laughs> so basically, I used to live in Grapevine, which is really, really close to the airport. It's like 10 minutes away from the airport, and I was at um, I was at a restaurant. I was at Buffalo Wild Wings, like at the bar there. It's not really far from here. But I needed to stop and get a sweater for the flight. And I needed to get a bag. Because I had a lot of stuff that I needed to carry on the flight. And I had a very small purse. And my stuff was literally not going to fit in my purse. So I was like, let me stop there really quick. In my mind, I'm like, I have time. Like, I'm going to be good. So I go there, get out, come to the airport. And literally, I get here. And they tell me that, that they can't even bypass the late check-in. Like, that's how late I am. So... I'm trying to debate on what to do. They're telling me that, because um, I asked them, like, what was the reason, you know, like, did they already give my seat up, or is it because of my baggage, like, it's too late to check my bag, so they told me it was because it's too late to check my bag, so if I had a carry-on bag, I would still have been able to board with my stuff, but if I wanted to board, I can board, but my bag would have to be, like, I would have to ship my bag out. So in order for me to ship my bag out, I would have to literally call somebody, have them come meet me at the airport, pick up my bag, and then, like, it, it just wouldn't work. Like, either way, I was going to miss my flight. But I'm still sitting there, like, debating, like, mm, am I going to make my flight or not? So I'm sitting there thinking, and literally I get a call from the gate, and they were like, um, hey, like, you know, Miss Henderson, we're just calling because we wanted to see, you know, like, this is our last call for check-in. Are you going to be checking into the flight today? And I'm like, oh. I was like, no, I'm literally still at the gate trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my bag. So I missed my flight. And it's not even an issue that I missed my flight because literally the issue is New York City alternate side parking. Because I'm, I've explained this all already. Because I'm parked on the Tuesday side, I have to move my car tomorrow at 8.30. I have my car keys, one. Nobody can move my car for me because I have my car keys. And even if my roommate had my car keys, she can't drive, so. I was asked out either way. Um, so my flight leaves tomorrow at 6 a.m. and I'll arrive in New York by 10.30. So I just booked a hotel. It's like 10 minutes from here, but oh my gosh. <laughs> my car. Oh my God. I'm just praying it doesn't get towed. Like if I get a ticket, whatever. I'm just praying to God that my car doesn't get towed. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Like honestly, I can't do anything about it. I'm late, it is what it is. So I'm about to head to the hotel now. Guess I'm here for another night. Yep, it's crazy. I don't think I've ever missed a flight in my life. I've never missed a flight. I've almost missed flights, but every single time, like even if it's like 10 minutes before, after, like 10 minutes till takeoff, I've always been accommodated. So I think that's my problem. I've always been accommodated. So I'm so used to that. But this time, yeah. Even international flights, like I've been really late to international flights and been accommodated, so. And I'm not saying that Sam typically late to flights, but it's just happened where I've been really, really late and accommodated. So this is like a time where I'm just not, you know, able to be accommodated. And I mean, it's my fault. I was the one who was late. It's not their fault. So yeah, I'm about to call it Uber. And yeah, that's what it is. All right, so I just arrived at the next hotel. <laughs> So I'm just checked in, I'm about to go to my room, and this time I'm going to give you guys a room tour, okay? I promise um, we're doing that tonight because I didn't do it at the last hotel that I was in. I have no idea what the rooms look like here, absolutely no idea. Um, oh shoot, look it. I love the clear elevators at the Hilt um, well, the Embassy Hilton. So let's see what room am I in. I am in five. 
27, so we are gonna go to the right. Oh my gosh, I gotta walk all the way around. Right? So pretty. I don't wanna drop my phone. All right. Wait, did I go the wrong way? Did I say 507 or 527? I'm definitely 527, so I think we went the wrong way. So maybe we need to go this way. Y'all, my bag is heavy as hell. Like, <laughs> I do not need to be going the wrong way. That's what I know. Let's check this. Oh, yeah. How did I see the arrows going in the complete opposite direction? How? Only me. Only me. All right, now we're going the right way. But yeah, so pretty. Let's see, 532. 31. 30. 29. 28, right, right here, 27. Why is it not? Take the whole key out. Yeah, take the whole key out. <coughs> I missed it. All right, let me pull my bag closer. Let's tap, push. Wow, it smells like they literally just cleaned it. So I literally just got in, so I'm seeing this with y'all, like, really, really. So this is the TV in the living room area. There's a little desk. This is cute, like a little area with a sink and, okay. The last room I was in had a kitchen in it, but it has, like, a nice little living room area, so that's cute. A little chair, seat. And then, let me bring it back a little bit. So like, you come in and there's this little bit living room area and then you walk back and then here's the toilet. Let me turn the light on. Take my shoes off, I don't like walking in the bathroom with dirty shoes. Okay, so it's kind of small, but it's okay. I'm only here for a few hours, literally. I have to be at the airport by like five o'clock tomorrow. And then, here is the closet. Oh, they have a little fan. Okay, it's cute. And here's my little bed area. And we have a TV here too. And let's see what our view is of. Oh, look at it. Look at our view. Texas. Ooh, what a burgers over there. Okay. This will be cozy. This is nice and cozy. Nice and cozy. So I'm about to settle in. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I didn't miss my flight. I'm gonna settle in and talk to y'all, okay? Catch y'all up on what's been going on in my life. Cause So I'm actually so tired, like for real, for real. I did not sleep at all last night. Um, it's crazy I missed my flight, but it's not crazy. I already knew that like I wasn't gonna be on that flight tonight. I wrote about it this morning. I had been just getting signs like literally before I even left, starting with my grandmother, that I wasn't gonna make my flight back. So, I'm not too surprised. It is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, things happen for a reason. Um, but I am tired because I spent all night up last night. I was just having bad feelings about my flight. And just, I don't know, I just had a lot of, like, eerie, scary, just mostly scary, like, thoughts. I was scared. I was scared to go to sleep. It was crazy. I haven't felt like that in a very, very, very long time. Like, I can't even count the last time I felt like that. So that was such a strange night I had last night. So I think I'm about to just order some food. I want to go down to the pool. I'm going to see how I'm feeling like after I eat. But I'm about to order some food, probably watch some TV, and most likely knock out. Because I do have to be up super duper early. I wish I asked and saw if there was like an earlier flight than the 6 a.m. flight. But I guess I'm kind of locked into that now. So I have to get up pretty early to like, you know, catch my flight. So I'm just going to like order some food. I might show you guys what I get. Um... But that's really it, nothing much happening over here besides, yeah, just some rest and relaxation. Oh, that was a weird way to end that, but yeah. Most likely I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Laters.